Welcome to Deep Dive, the cybersecurity episode where I zoom in hot security topics. Today, I want to raise awareness on how SEO and marketing tools are a real attack vector for data breach, analyzing data and case study and suggesting some mitigation, shifting and boosting the security culture and awareness in this space. Over the past decade, the number of marketing-related security incidents has grown steadily, rising more than 310% since 2015. This increase coincides with the expansion of the digital marketing ecosystem. More tools, more integrations, and more code running in user browsers across websites, landing pages, and campaign infrastructure. The estimated economic impact now exceeds $1.2 billion, with a growing portion tied to supply chain exposure through marketing technology. Everything from analytics plugins and ad networks to SEO platforms and campaign automation systems. These tools, often essential to day-to-day -day growth and customer engagement, have also become attractive to threat actors. Not because they're inherently weak, but because they connect deeply into public-facing environments. On the right, you'll see how compromised marketing tools are being used in practice. The largest share, 35%, supports the creation of phishing infrastructure, typically leveraging trusted outreach platforms. 25% are used to distribute malware, often through ad scripts or embedded web elements. 15% involve SEO poisoning, where search results are manipulated to deliver harmful payloads. The remaining incidents include credential theft and data exfiltration, both commonly linked to tracking pixels, analytics flows, or user interaction scripts. These are not isolated vectors. They are part of the broader digital supply chain. And as marketing operations continue to scale, these tools will remain relevant not just for business growth, but for security visibility as well. When we talk about marketing compromises, it's easy to imagine one-off incidents, an email gone wrong, maybe a plug-in bug. But when you step back, the picture shifts. These aren't isolated. They're a pattern. In 2023 alone, attackers moved through MailChimp and Clavio, not spoofing them but using them as intended, launching real campaigns from real accounts just with malicious intent. The infrastructure was legitimate. The payload wasn't. Then you see WordPress-based attacks, like the 2025 AdSense injection campaign. Not some deep server-side breach, but compromised plugins silently pushing JavaScript to end users. It looked like a regular ad. Underneath, a redirect chain to malware and monetization fraud. And it keeps going, Malvertising kits like SOC Goalish delivered through paid ad slots. SEO tools turned into malware droppers. Chrome extensions dressed up to look like optimizers, when in reality, they're harvesting credentials. Some are subtle, tracking pixels capturing more than analytics. Others are bold, expired marketing domains rerouted into exploit kits. Even CRM platforms like HubSpot became part of the chain, not through misconfiguration, but through integration. Each of these incidents used a marketing asset as a vessel. Not the final target, but the delivery mechanism. That's the shift. These platforms weren't attacked for what they are, but for the access they provide, the trust they carry, the visibility they hold. It's not about being secure or insecure. It's about being reachable, being integrated, and most of all, being overlooked. In today's landscape, if it sends, loads, embeds, or automates, it can be leveraged. And if it's trusted, it's powerful. In fast-paced environments, marketing tools are deployed with good reason, speed, reach, and impact. But along that path, a few natural gaps form. It begins with what we often assume is routine, embedding a tag, launching a campaign, integrating a tool. Security review might not always be part of that workflow. And that's not a flaw. It's a reflection of how quickly things need to move. Next, urgency takes over. Campaigns are deadline-driven, and time to market is everything. That momentum can outpace slower security processes, not because anyone skipped a step, but because there wasn't time to build one in. And there's how we think about these tools. They're seen as business platforms, not infrastructure. But when they live in the browser, touch customer sessions, and execute dynamic code, they're part of the surface. And at the bottom of the funnel, 
Visibility. Marketing tools often fall outside the monitoring stack, not intentionally, but simply because they don't fit the usual threat models. It's not about pointing fingers, it's about connecting dots. When we align creative speed with security context, we close this funnel from deployment to protection together. Securing marketing technology isn't about slowing innovation. It's about gaining clarity in systems that move fast and reach far. Start by red teaming the stack. What does that mean? It's the practice of simulating real world attacks, not to break systems, but to see where risk hides in plain sight. In this case, it's about thinking like an attacker. How would someone abuse a script in a tag manager? A link in an email template? A forgotten plugin in a landing page? Red teaming shows you the paths they might take before someone takes them for real. Then, ingest logs. Most marketing platforms generate events and activity logs. But if those aren't fed into your CM, your central security monitoring, they're invisible. By integrating logs from systems like MailChimp, HubSpot, or Google Tag Manager, you enable detection of unexpected behaviors, suspicious redirects, sudden campaign triggers, even script changes on live pages. Third, apply SSBM, that's SaaS security posture management. SSBM tools monitor cloud-based software platforms. Things like Marketo, Salesforce, Zapier, for misconfigurations, risky permissions, and third-party integrations. Because most marketing work today happens in SaaS, not on-prem infrastructure, and attackers know it. Next, monitor scripts with CSP and SRI. CSP, Content Security Policy, lets you define which domains are allowed to run scripts on your site. SRI, Sub-Resource Integrity, makes sure those scripts haven't been silently modified. Together, they give you control over one of the most commonly exploited attack surfaces, third-party browser side code. And finally, map and risk rank your marketing stack. Inventory all tools in use, from plugins and analytics to ad networks and lead forms. Then prioritize them based on reach, access, and user interaction. Not all tools present equal risk, but every one of them deserves visibility. When marketing and security work together, the process doesn't slow down, it sharpens. Because in today's landscape, the next breach won't necessarily come through your infrastructure. It might come through your banner advertisement. Thanks for reaching the end of this episode. I spend my best efforts to maintain the project free from sponsorships. Showing your support, liking, and subscribing, it's highly appreciated. Stay tuned. Take care.